وبارك الله في جهاتكم ورباطكم Ten years ago, a man believed to be Abu Musab al-Zarqawi released this video, declaring himself the head of al-Qaeda in Mesopotamia. Today, as Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump campaign for the U.S. presidency, I call President Obama and Hillary Clinton the founders of ISIS. They're the founders. The decade-old al-Qaeda propaganda video is a reminder of the origins of the Islamic State, or ISIS, and its ties to the militant group founded by Osama bin Laden. During the Bush administration, in the middle of the U.S. occupation, al-Zarqawi was the most wanted man in Iraq. He declared a holy war against the U.S.-backed Iraqi government. Car and suicide bombings were rampant. His vision was to create a strict Islamic State. His zealous Sunni followers pledged allegiance to al-Qaeda and joined him in a brutal insurgency. Their tactics included filming the beheadings of hostages and posting them online. This is the translated version of a 2005 letter written by al-Zarqawi's superior, Ayman al-Zawahiri, then second in command to Osama bin Laden. It reveals early signs of a coming split between the two groups. In the letter, al-Zawahiri told his subordinate not to be so brutal. Al-Zarqawi was killed in June 2006 in a U.S. airstrike, but the group survived through the years, through the U.S. surge during President Bush's second term, amid increasing sectarian Iraqi politics, and ultimately after President Obama's withdrawal of U.S. troops from Iraq. By 2013, the group had renamed itself ISIS and began attracting new recruits as part of a rebellion against the neighboring Syrian regime. In 2014, the group debuted on the world stage and formally cut ties with al-Qaeda over religious doctrine and their brutal military tactics. That summer, ISIS gained control of Raqqa in Syria and Mosul, Iraq's second largest city. On the first day of Ramadan in 2014, ISIS declared a caliphate and soon after Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi became its caliph. <laughs> With the group swiftly spreading further into Iraq, President Obama authorized airstrikes. Today I authorized two operations in Iraq. Targeted airstrikes to protect our American personnel and a humanitarian effort to help save thousands of Iraqi civilians who are trapped on a mountain without food and water and facing almost certain death. Over the last two years, local forces in the U.S.-led coalition against ISIS have sought to retake territory from the militant group and liberate Syrians and Iraqis trapped under its control. The coalition has retaken Ramadi and Fallujah in Iraq. And in August, it retook Membij, a key Syrian city along the route to the Islamic State's self-declared capital of Raqqa.